Now, a lot of us have discovered the benefits of yoga as adults, but is it good for our kids as well? Joining us in the Harvey Norman Lounge, yoga teacher Erin O'Hara. Good morning. Hi. It's wonderful to have you back in the studio. Thank you. Uh, do, and you brought some, you brought some friends yeah, along. I've got two friends here, George and Henry. Hey, George and Henry. Hi, nice hi. to see you guys. So we're going to talk about kids' yoga. Do you have many children interested in, in taking up yoga? Yeah, um, kids' yoga has become more popular, and it's generally more um, with parents that do yoga, and they get the benefits from it, and then they want their kids to also get the benefits from doing a yoga practice too. Yes, because there are so many benefits, aren't there? Yeah. Um, so with kids, it's great because they can stretch their bodies, especially when they're growing really fast, mm. their muscles get very tight, and they're always on the go, so that's also great to slow them down and allow them to learn to relax and also develop the mind as well with some meditation. So does breathing. it help with their mindfulness as well, with the breath, obviously using your breathing with yoga? Does it sort of help them just maybe cope with things later in life, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. All the tools that they learn as a child, Child, they have them forever and they never really forget them and usually in a class we would do about two-thirds of the class yoga moves like we're going to show you soon mm -hmm. and then also we'll finish with some meditation some breathing and some relaxation which quite often kids will say that's their favorite part of the class which, which is, is awesome so important as well because uh, especially with a lot of children these days dealing with a lot more things that are making them more anxious than, yeah uh, than maybe we grew up with they are, and also quite often parents don't know how to slow their kids down, so the only thing they can think of is to kind of put them in front of a screen because they know they'll mm. stop and slow down. So it's really good for them to learn to just relax without having to do anything at all. So what about for teens in terms of stress release or, or sort of ability to focus? Does it help with that? Yeah, so with exams coming up, um, yeah. meditation is one of the best things you can do for your mind. Um, and with trying to remember things, when as soon as you get stressed, you can't remember anything at all, no, you which can't. is not very helpful for an exam. So any Thing you can learn to really calm your body down, calm your nervous system with breathing, meditation, relaxation tools can be really helpful that then they've got tools to take into an exam mm. and to allow them to stay relaxed and then they can remember a lot more. Now I think we should work through some of the things that the uh, the first moves that you teach kids as well. George and yeah. Henry, are you ready to do some work? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna, Excellent. We're going to do a yoga hokey pokey today which is like a sun salutations and whenever we do kids yoga we like to make it fun so it's not too boring, not too serious. I'd like um, you to bring that yoga Hokey pokey pokey into, into great. <laughs> Thank you very much. It sounds good. And then we're going to finish with a little meditation. So we're just okay. going to show you once and then you can do things at home. So we're going to come forward. Let's come right up here, boys. Just move along a little. Are we ready? We're going to show them yoga hokey pokey. And um, we'll take some big breaths as we move. So here we go. Bring your hands up high. Big reach. Bring your hands down low. Touch the ground. Touch your toes. Jump right back. Big bounce back and slither like a snake. Come down and bake a big hiss snail sound through your teeth. Bring your tails up high, downward dog, bottoms go high, stretch through your spine, and we'll start all over again. Big bounce forward between your hands, reach up, stretch up, and then hands back into our heart center. So that's a sun salutation, but we just make it super fun. And we would usually do five rounds. It'll help us warm up our bodies and prepare us for our other yoga postures. So let's come sitting down. We're going to just finish the little breathing meditation. So we usually sit cross legs on the ground. And the one that we're going to do today is one that's going to help with memory. And it's something that anyone, any age can do. And it's really good for kids as well as adults if you want to improve memory. And we move our fingers, which is going to help um, also with all the brain pathways. And so on sa, we touch our index finger, ta, the middle finger, na, the ring finger, and ma, the little finger. And we're just going to chant a couple of rounds. And this is going to help us with our brain focus because we've got to link, just like playing the piano, you've got to link a finger and a button nearly or a word um, together, which is going to help our mind. So let's do about five rounds together. Let's sit tall, close our eyes. Sata nama chant. Sata nama. Sata nama. Sata nama. One more. Sata nama. Oh, that's awesome. And I that really like it. And helps us stay really focused so we're not wandering off with our mind. Yes, which we do all the time, even yeah. as adults. So what about, is there any chance that kids can overdo it? I mean, what do you have to be careful about? Um, I think 
The one thing to really watch with kids doing yoga is that they don't try and do too many tricks. And that's really where the injuries come in is if they get into doing big deep back bends like bridge poses and handstands and headstands is that sometimes they want to just show off yeah. and just be careful that that's, you're not yoga and that we want to really be careful of those. Apart from that, it's also about not making them overstretch because hmm. their muscles are really tight and a lot of parents will come to me and they're like, they can't touch their toes, there's something wrong and it's like, no, their muscles are not stretching as much as their bones are growing right. so Little they're getting powerhouses. tight. Doing a lot of growing. Well, that was yeah. great. Hey, thank you, George and Henry, for coming in today. Yeah. Most appreciated. And thank you, Erin, as well. Oh, thanks for having us.